Good evening. Good evening, distinguished guests, families, friends, staff, and members of the class of 2022. I'm Mr. Navarro Husino, Director of College Counseling at IDEA Eastside College Prep, and it is my honor to welcome you here tonight to the historic first ever graduation from IDEA Eastside. Before we begin, I would like us to take a brief moment to reflect on recent events. What happened in Uvalde was unthinkable. I would like to take a moment to honor the lives lost and the incredible bravery of the town of Uvalde. Thank you. We are here to celebrate and congratulate the amazing class of 2022. I would like to thank all the parents, family members, and friends for the support they have given to our graduates throughout the course of their education. I would also like to thank the faculty and staff for the guidance and patience they have bestowed on our students. We would not be here tonight without everyone's contributions to this momentous occasion. Class of 2022, we are so proud of you and cannot wait to see and hear about your accomplishments and contributions to society. Continue making history. Please help me welcome Adam Aguero to sing the national anthem. followed by Celia Vera, who will recite the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave oh the land of the free and the home of the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and invisible. Now pause for a moment of silence.
You may be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. Parents, family members, honored guests, teachers, staff, and most importantly, our distinguished scholars, class of 2022. It is my very great pleasure to welcome you all to the very first graduation of IDEA Eastside College Preparatory. My congratulations to our scholars receiving diplomas today. We acknowledge the support that has helped you along the way. To all the family members, friends with us today, thank you. Our 63 graduates were not alone in this journey. Thank you, family and friends, for the encouragement you have offered, and in many cases, for the sacrifices you have made so that your scholar could earn the diploma that, that, that they will take today. Graduates, please would you take a moment to acknowledge all those who supported you near and far, including your classmates and teachers. Teachers, please stand up. All teachers, stand up. All parents, please stand up. Class of 2022, acknowledge those who have supported you. Thank you. Class of 2022, as you make your way to the stage today, as your name is called, as you shake hands and give high fives, Take a moment to soak it all in. You will make history today. We will all bear witness to the incredible journey of the first ever graduating class of IDEA Eastside. In 2015, when IDEA Eastside opened its doors, it set out to do what others could not, the promise of 100% college matriculation. You did it, class of 2022. You are the first to graduate from Eastside. You will be the first class to spark the enduring flame of 100% college matriculation. Today, you become destiny realized. You have ignited a fire on the east side of San Antonio that will fan a sea of change. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the events of the past two years. You endured through one of the most difficult moments in the world. You persevered and are only moments away from taking a giant step forward in your journey as young adults. This will also mark a monumental accomplishment for our families, whose first high school graduate and future college graduate will walk the stage today. I find it ironic that our school mascot is a roadrunner. If you don't know anything about roadrunners, they're primarily solitary birds. When they find their mate, however, they live in pairs who bond for life. Recently, I learned that a group of roadrunners are called a marathon of roadrunners. What an appropriate analogy for life. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. I know the daily grind of life may often seem like you're sprinting. It is sometimes hard to slow down and be still. To the class of 2022, I say this. Live in the moment. Make good decisions. Learn to love yourself. Be kind. The world is already unforgiving enough. Learn to manage your time. Surround yourself with great people, limit distractions, pay it forward, be fearless. Make a difference, find happiness, and always be true to yourself. Your graduation today is testimony that Idea Eastside is on the move. Keep running forward. And never forget your roots, Roadrunners. This is the beginning, not the end, of a chapter. The road is endless and full of possibility. Thank you all, and congratulations to the class of 2022.
And now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce our principal, Mr. Chang Yu. All right, welcome parents, students, and families. Wow, what an amazing day. What an amazing event. And what amazing students out there. Can you feel the love, guys, today? Can you? I personally want to say congratulations to the class of 2022. You did it. You did it. You are Eastside champions today. And you're going to, as Mr. Navarro said, you're definitely going to make history as the first graduating class. And you're going to hear that over and over because it is something to celebrate, definitely. It goes without saying, everyone, that you guys look so great. You guys look so good. You guys are like shining stars this evening. You guys are so bright. Tonight, we are all overfilled with your spirit and energy. These milestones, these rites of passage of students, these moments and celebrations that we all partake that signify student accomplishments are what keeps me going as an educator. So I hope that all of you out there, the class of 22, you guys feel proud and you bask in the love with your family, with your friends, with your teachers, with your administrators, with your loved ones, because this is your night, class of 2022. I just want to say, in the short time that I've been here at Eastside, you guys have been great. I'm so impressed by the, love of, uh, by the love of energy and the passion that you grace yourself, class of 2022. I just know that without question, you guys had the innate ability to overcome any obstacles and to go forward with any plans or goals that you set out to. It's this passion that you guys have, this nothing is going to stop me attitude that I admire about all of you guys. So, as the first graduating class, it's difficult because there were no models before you. You guys are the first one. But know this, you have to set an exemplar for everyone else to follow. This precedent that will carry on with other graduating classes you set this evening. Eastside is a fantastic campus with great students, teachers, and staff. You never feel like an outsider at all. The nature of Eastside in general is very warm and inviting. The support that you get at Eastside is unheard of. The conversations, the guidance, the tough love that are provided to you guys and to everyone are essential but positive. I see why students here at Eastside thrive such in a conducive, supporting learning environment. Your college counselors go out of their very way to make magic happen for you guys. Mr. Navarro, Mr. Gonzalez, Ms. Rodriguez are amazing rock stars. That are, that are super advocates, advocates for all of you guys to ensure that you have the best match and fit, most appropriate colleges to help you navigate, to help you apply, to appeal your financial aid packages, to get you more and provide guidance when you need it, and to support you when you need it. And all these happens on a continuous basis, ladies and gentlemen. So through their hard work, Eastside has collected $7.3 million of scholarships. And as Mr. Adam has stated, 62% of you guys have been accepted to tier one and tier two colleges, which means, ladies and gentlemen, they're elite, very, very top-notch colleges. Let's give a hand. So as you can see, I can see and as you can see why kids, students thrive at Eastside with such caring and supportive counselors and staff and administrators. All I can say, ladies and gentlemen, is that only at Eastside. Yeah. 
All right. Just like many of you, class of 2022, will become, I stand before you as a first generation college graduate, me. My parents sacrificed and worked very hard, had multiple jobs and sh to ensure that I had a chance. You had made Eastside and your parents' guardians so proud. Education gave me a purpose, a reason, even when I had nothing. Education changed me to think that I have a chance, an opportunity to become someone that my family and I would be proud of, to earn money, to be independent, to make an impact in other people's lives, to make a difference, and to take care of my parents were thoughts that I had growing up, poor, by truly investing and understanding the value of education, I came out of it. So now, it's your turn to continue your family legacy and traditions. And it's your turn, class of 2022, to carry forward with all the loved ones that were rooting for you day by day, supporting you day by day along the pathway for you to be here tonight. Tonight is definitely a celebration of everybody that come across you, class of 2022. I know that all of you worked hard and have sacrificed many times over to be here tonight. By being here and graduating, you have created more options for yourself, class of 2022. Options to learn, to think bigger, options to discover and imagine the possibility of, of a new career, options to experience and to visit other places to determine if you like it, options to meet and network with other people with different cultures. Who knows? One of these individuals could turn out to be your business partner, your best friend, or even your lifelong partner. See, that's the beauty of going to college and being in college. You never know. College, guys, college is the most important time of your life, I guarantee it, as it shapes and defines who you are, and it develops and courage your interest and your belief system. All right, class of 22, can I be real? Let's talk about some good college best practice and understanding. Number one, have confidence. Continue that never give up attitude. Look guys, you're here tonight. There's a reason why you're here and some are not. You did it guys. Number two, remember what you're working for. Remember what you're fighting for. For your family, your big dreams, big income, or self-gratification, knowing that you can do it. Whatever it is, guys, use it. Number three, keep the eyes on the prize. Never let you go out of sight. And no matter what, you keep on trying, you keep on digging, you keep on fighting. Plan, overcome the circumstances. Circumvent around it if you have to but make sure that you reach your goal and your degree. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, class of 22, the only person that can stop you is you. Number four, have fun and enjoy your time in college. Guys, be curious. Absorb all the new information that will be thrown at you. Connect with the people that surround you. Discover and be adventurous during your time. And number five, study, study, study like your life depended on it. And I do mean it. You actually have to read your assigned novels or your assigned books. Don't try to find the videos, okay? Have responsible fun, but prioritize and devote meaningful time for your study. Lock yourself in the library, lock yourself in the dorm, whatever you have to do, dig deep in your studies. Remember, your grades, which equate to your grade point average, your GPA, really does mean life and death in college. You want to have a good GPA when you send out your resumes to your potential employer. Don't be an average person. I know you're not an average person, but instead, be an above average person. So, is your GPA gonna reflect that? That's up to you. Number six. Find out what your inspiration is. 
in college? What passion will push you to do more, to continue? You may be surprised what gravitates you and raises your interest. Who knows? You may become obsessed with it, and that may turn out to be a career choice. And hopefully, it will be. An example, I had a student in my previous graduation many years ago who became a jet propulsion engineer in NASA because she was fascinated with astronomy and science. Who knew? And you will never know until you try it, until you discover it. That's what college is about, guys. Number seven, guys, please learn how to type, okay, your keyboard. Don't use the two-finger method, okay, when you're taking notes, especially when your professor is furiously, you know, lecturing, otherwise you're going to fall behind. You guys have eight fingers and two opposable thumbs, okay, that's what makes us human, so use it. I promise it's going to be so much faster. So, but if you don't plan to use a laptop, make sure you take good notes. You need to listen, you need to write down those key points from your professor. No doodling, no texting your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or your mom. That's not allowed. Focus, you need to be serious. Number eight, don't be late to class. If you're a night owl, don't you dare take those early morning classes. Your professors will not send you a message saying, where are you? Or, and, you're, and you're late with a heart emoji. They're not going to do that. Number nine, take responsibility as you will be many adults. You are many adults, but you will be a greater many adult. Do the right thing. Avoid the wrong ones. Follow policy and law. Be that role model to yourself and others. I know it, you know, some of you don't necessarily want to grow up and take on some of life's responsibility, like a job, a career, like paying taxes or mowing the lawn. But don't worry, your life will have endless possibilities, outcomes. There's going to be so many cool things that you will do as, as part of going forward. So guys, as I said, your future is bright. And finally, number 10, don't be afraid to ask for help. There are tons of mechanisms in college, both socially, spiritually, mentally, and academics. Remember, you're not alone in this process. When you first came to Eastside, you were part of the team. We are your team. We were along this process when you first came, and we're going to be continue along with this process until it's done. So call us if you need us. All right. OK. You got this, class of 22. The real deal is college. Everything you did to this point was only to prepare you and to direct you to the real deal, which is college. It's up to you now, the final outcome. You're deciding now as you matriculate to college on your new pathway. The decisions that you make or you should reflect on where you need to be, where you want to be, and how you're going to get there. So can you do it? Of course you can. Will you do it? Of course you will. I'll be praying for you. Yes, there will be hard times and tough times. But even through adversity and even through hardship, challenges and all that diff different experiences that you will learn will be beneficial, class of 2022, so, as long as you learn from it. What I say to you guys is just keep going forward. You will experience, experiment, and be involved in many different total different settings, articulating about the weirdest and most profound stuff. You know the old cliche, finding yourself and developing your opinions and mindset, how you view the world? That's going to happen to you in college, I promise you. So it's true. Apply yourself because college is going to be a, the greatest learning experience, but it's also going to be the best of time for you as many adults. Ladies and gentlemen, this year will be ending my ninth year in IDEA. I am the longest running principal, which is why I'm called a senior principal here. At, and I've been fortunate 
to have many opportunities, and my last opportunity was to be a principal here at Eastside, as well as Carver. Through it all, this will be my last year, as I said, but I'll be, and I will be transitioning to a new role. I will be the Vice President of Schools. It has been an honor to work with all these wonderful children. It's been an honor to serve as both principal, again, at Carver and Eastside. I've seen many students transition to high school to college and begin building a brighter future for themselves. Today, graduation is an outcome of ideas, mission, of providing opportunities, a chance for students that was not there before. And today proves that that mission is, is alive. For Eastside, that began seven years ago. When Eastside first opened, I was there. When they opened the doors to the family, seeking a better resolution from what was out there. Schools before Eastside that were failing kids. Schools that were underperforming. Schools that did not even care about kids. Thank goodness for Eastside. Thank goodness for Eastside. And ladies and gentlemen, today just stamps what we've been fighting for ever since we opened the doors at Eastside. But, but this train at Eastside still continues and will continue to go forward as the future is clear and strong. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to say the torch that Eastside has carried since we opened many, many years ago will go to your new principal, Ms. Narina Trigani. who has devoted all her San Antonio years here at Eastside, both as an assistant principal and as a principal in residence. We have worked very hard together with all the teachers and staff this year at Eastside, and I'm proud to say that Eastside this year is expected to earn an A rating from the state of Texas. So ladies and gentlemen, the power of Eastside keeps burning brighter and continues to be positive as it impacts East San Antonio because of students like the class of 2022 and the dedicated teachers that are all around me and the staff that's all around me. I, I'm super excited and confident that Ms. Trigani, along with the partnership of the Eastside community, will make Eastside even stronger and better and uphold East, Eastside and IDEA's mission of college for all. So, Congratulations, class of 2022. I want you to continue to shine. I want you to continue to grow. I want you to continue to make a difference for yourself and others. I want you to continue to go forward because I know and everyone knows here tonight that class of 22, you got this. Congratulations. And now I want you to Give a big hand to your next principal, Ms. Narina Trigani. All right, good afternoon, seniors, families, teachers, staff, and distinguished guests. It is my absolute joy and honor to stand before you today as incoming principal for IDEA Eastside College Prep and to help welcome you to our very first of many graduation ceremonies. This is a historic moment for our school, and so let today be a celebration of all the hard work that these amazing scholars have put in. And let us see if I can hold it together. While it's undoubtedly true that we have collectively had our share of struggles, I'd like to use this space to shine the light on some of what the class of 2022 has learned. We learned how much our families, our community, and our educators love our students. Junior year at the height of the pandemic was about staying connected, supporting each other, and coming to grips with our emerging reality. We learned how important we are to each other. We invited students into our homes and they invited us into theirs. We realized that we were sharing a once in a lifetime experience that we could only endure through empathy and love. We also learned how complicated change was and how vital it was to our students that we bring them back into the school building. Last summer was filled with a mixture of determination, creativity, and collaboration, all aimed at putting together a memorable senior year for this group of incredible human beings that stand in front of us. 
Senior year was full of firsts, not only for our graduating class, but for the adults in the building as well. We learn that we achieve great things when we band together and truly believe in team and family. Together, we danced, or shall I say we wobbled, the night away during our first ever Eastside prom. Together, we lost our voices screaming for our seniors as they proudly declared their chosen colleges and universities. But for me, what I will remember and what I will forever miss are the little things. I will miss listening to Adam sing the national anthem. I will miss Chloe's laugh, her crazy socks, and her little plastic babies. I will miss Gael and his Gryffindor backpack with his morning banter with Miss Rodriguez. I will miss seeing DeMoriana arguing with Mr. Navarro over college choices. I will miss Rihanna and Elijah and Victoria and Layla stopping into my office constantly asking for snacks that I never have. I will miss shooting the breeze with Brian Carrion. I will miss Camila's sarcasm and her one million selfies that she secretly took on my phone. I will miss each and every one of you and I will treasure the memories you leave behind. Class of 2022, looking back, remember with gratitude the people that have helped you get to this moment your parents and your families who have been beside you through thick and thin, your teachers who have nurtured you and shared their knowledge with you, and last but not least, your classmates who have accompanied you on this rough journey. And now, you are at the milestone of this journey we call life. You made it. You have reached this moment by your dedication to succeed, by using your unique gifts to accomplish your goals, and your determination to navigate these choppy waters we call high school. The class of 2022 has taken the adversity of dealing with the loss of a traditional high school experience and turned it to one of memorable and triumphant experiences. After today, you will no longer be students at Idea Eastside, but graduates of Idea Eastside College Prep. You are all uniquely gifted individuals who have come together and have found success in a variety of ways. Graduates, as you look into the future, just remember, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. Get out there, grab life by the horns, and do something great. It has been a pleasure being with you on this journey these past three years, and I look forward to hearing more about your future successes. To my absolutely beloved class of 2022, the halls of Idea Eastside will not be the same without you. But one thing I do promise you is that you will never be forgotten. Your legacy will endure, and every future graduating class will know that you, sitting here today, have paved the way for them. As you gather this one last time, surrounded by those who love you, keep striving towards that bright future with hope. Maintain a steady sense of purpose. Move beyond the sturdy foundation you've built here in a place that you can always, always, always call home, and keep the fire burning brightly. I love you guys. And now I present Mr. Javier Gonzalez, who will present our valedictorian and salutatorian. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please allow me to introduce to you our salutatorian and our valedictorian. First, Mr. Jose Rodriguez, our salutatorian. Please stand up. He will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio this fall. And now allow me to introduce to you our Valley Victorian, Jose Cepeda. He is attending Texas A&M University Engineering Program this fall. Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> On behalf of the class of 2022, I am honored to welcome all parents, teachers, faculty, and distinguished guests to the first ever graduating class of Idea Eastside. First, 
I would like to have some words of encouragement to my fellow seniors. To those of you graduates, sitting out there having a pretty good idea of what you'd like to do in your life, congratulations. For many of you who maybe don't have it all figured out, it's okay. That's the same chair that I sat in. Enjoy the process of your search without succumbing to the pressure of the result. Trust your gut, keep throwing dots at the dartboard, don't let critics, and you will figure it out. It's okay to be nervous, trust yourself on making it, making things possible. Secondly, durante mi trayectoria en IDEA Eastside, varios aprendizajes que aprendí este año. Siendo el valedictoriano significa mucho para mí. Me hizo ver que todo se puede ser posible. No importa lo que la demás gente opine de ti, todo se puede ser posible. Be yourself. Don't let others say what you can or can't do because at the end of the day, it's your life and your future. Because nobody's gonna help you get to your, to get your dream car or house. Always work hard for your things and motivate yourself towards towards obtaining it. Third, over the few minutes, I've talked about what I've learned from this year as a senior. Senior year has been an experience that really has changed things after COVID-19. Yes, COVID-19 is still around us. We were locked down, locked down from social events and work, locked down from what could have been boundless opportunities, locked down from the benefits of being a citizen of the country we live in. Now we live on, under a war that has affected our economy. Our economy may be destroyed, but we'll, we will stay strong and calm. Lastly, I heard a quote once from John Wooden saying how, worry about your character and not your reputation because your character is who you are and your reputation is only what people think of you. This demonstrates how to be you and lo don't let others ruin your identity. It means to me that no one knows the hard work that has taken me to be here where I'm at, as well as as well as focus on yourself. <clears throat> Seniors, there has been moments where we learn from each other. As we gather here today, as soon to be graduates, we find ourselves lined up on our marks. Whether or not we are personally ready, the race is on. We're not heading towards the, de the same destination and each one of us will run a different course. But in, but in the end, it does not matter what race we are running, but how we are running the race. Soon, we're going to be sign, signing each other's yearbooks and saying goodbye. There will be hugs and tears. We'll do our best to stay in touch, but we will be living our lives and doing our best. On behalf of the class, of my classmates and the first urinating class from the IDEA Eastside, we want to thank for everything y'all have done and will continue to do. We sincerely appreciate it and thank you for molding us into the intelligent adults wearing these cap and gowns before you today. Thank you staff and parents for all y'all's hard work that has officially in this moment paid off. Thank you, Mother, for always giving me support and for never giving up on me, for always being my right hand whenever it's most needed it. Thank you, Navarro, for helping me as well as my classmates during our application process and for always giving us support and confidence. Thank you, Ms. Rodriguez and Mr. Gonzalez for always, doing, for always stepping up 
on helping us if it was necessary. For being reliable and never saying no when help was needed or concerns of college. Thank you, Ms. Silvas, for helping us with all any questions or concern of school. For also being a safe place to go to and allowing us to feel comfortable when being stressed out. Allowing us to be ourselves when things might have had got our hand. Thank you, teachers, for doing just part of the job, for giving us education and shaping us into the intelligent seniors before you today. Because if it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't be here today. Thank you all. Good afternoon, parents. <clears throat> Good afternoon, parents, scholars, friends, administration, teachers. It's an honor to be part of Idea Eastside's first graduating class celebration. To stand on this stage and present this speech, not only in front of this sizable audience, but in front of the students I cherish so much is truly a moment I will never forget. My name is Gilbert Tarevino, and I'm the English II teacher here at IDEA Eastside. I had the pleasure of teaching these graduates in ninth and 10th grade, even in the midst of the pandemic. I wanted to start this speech off with just a simple congratulations to the class of 2022. Uh, graduating high school is such an amazing milestone um, and a great start to your future. Only 86% of high school students nationwide graduate, and you are part of that statistic for life. You traverse through your AP exams, your STAR tests, and your end of course tests. You traverse through a pandemic that shut down schools for three months in your 10th grade year and then offered online learning for your 11th. And even despite all of that, you are sitting in these chairs at this graduation, your parents and family, teachers admiring your accomplishments. The last few years have not been easy. We've had new principals, new administration, and even new teachers. But the one thing constant in your high school career is your ability to adapt to the changes around you. Change is inevitable, and I'm sure you've heard that before. <clears throat> Life will hurt you, as some of you have probably already experienced. Life will never stop, despite you feeling like sometimes you just need things to slow down a bit and catch up. You will experience heartbreak, loss, anxiety, and the overwhelming desire to just throw up your hands and give up. You will one day have a college professor you don't like. You will one day have a boss you don't like. You will one day wake up so tired because you stayed up all night the night before studying for your final exam. As I'm sure you've already heard before, life isn't fair. But that's not what I'm here to tell you about. I'm here to tell you that while change is inevitable, it's the way you respond to that change and the monotony of life that separates you from everyone else around you. Show compassion for the college professor that you don't like or doesn't like you. Show empathy for the boss you don't agree with. Realize that being that tired the morning after you stayed up all night is temporary and fleeting. Acknowledge the others around you and realize that they too are going through where you are. Maybe not to the same extent, but they all understand what it's like to be tired or to be disliked or to have a boss that doesn't like them. Embrace change and show the world what we already know about you. Thank you, class of 2022, for allowing me this opportunity to speak and give this little bit of wisdom. Now please, go out and change the world. I'm trying. 
trying to see if there's contact in there. Because it kept vibrating. Ladies and gentlemen, and now the distribution of diplomas for IDA Eastside Class of 2022. Adam Aguero. Jorge Aguilar. Marisol Aguirre. Julio Arellano Rea. Teodoro Arredondo. Alexis Ariaga. Trayvon August. Victoria Boyles. Josue Camargo. Gustavo Canizales. Gael Carmona. Brian Mauricio Carrion. Cindy Cernas. Edwan Chicas. Pedro Clemente Turrubiates. Felicia Coleman.
Eric Diliegros. Matthew Dorsey. Angelica Freire. Angel Galindo. Congrats, sir. Congrats. Estefany Castillo Monsivais. Elijah Gonzalez. Jose Gonzalez. Nathan Gonzalez. Joshua Gonzalez, Tierra Blanca. Ashley Gutierrez. Sarah Haney. Trilincia Harris. Treshawn Harris Jones. Angie Jeffries. Jonathan Limas. Idali Leva. Chloe Martinez. Erica Mata.
Melanie Mendoza. Fabian Mesa. Christopher Miller. Brian Murillo Naranjo. Rihanna Murphy. Christopher Ochoa. Carlos Ortega Rivera. David Ortega. Brianna Perez Castillo. Nathan Polendo. Miranda Ponce. Jose Ramirez. Jacqueline Rangel. Camila Reveles. Demariana Richardson. <laughs> Ashley Robles. Jose Rodriguez. Daisy Rodriguez. Leila Rodriguez. <laughs> J. 
Daniela Romo. Jesús Ruiz. Jacinto Sánchez. Troy Sadie White. Mark Saucedo. Celia Vera. Perla Villanueva. Carter Villarreal. <laughs> Jose Cepeda. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for our graduating class of 2022. You may take a seat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you our college, our college counselor, Ms. Andrea Rodriguez, for the flower ceremony. At this time, we would like to honor our families, the foundation to your success at Idea East Side. We continue in the tradition of presenting a single flower from the graduate to their family. It is a beautiful way to, tribute, to find tribute to the parents who have helped to bring you to this moment. As you were growing up, your parents gave you love and guided you through all your trials. Their love for you has brought them both great happiness and challenges. Your graduation is also a celebration of family. As you graduate today, you are strengthening your family tree. Graduates, after the ceremony, please present the, your flower to two people that have been instrumental in your life and had a positive impact in your today's world. Thank you. Please join me at the tassel ceremony for Mr. Javier Gonzalez, college counselor.
Good evening, graduates, families, and faculty. I'm honored to lead you in the tassel ceremony. Seniors, please stand and take another moment to reflect on all that you have achieved and overcome to get to this point. I have seen this class grow and excel from the sixth grade with some incredible additions along the way. You all should be very proud of your hard work and know that you have earned this. The tassel on the right indicates your time as a student. When you move your tassel from the right to the left, you will signify your status as a graduate and IDEA alumni. On the count of three, you may move your tassel from the right to the left. One, two, three. Please remain standing for Mr. Yu to confer the class of 2022. All right, by the power vested in me by the state of Texas and the Board of Education for IDEA Public Schools and upon recommendation of the faculty of IDEA Eastside College Prep in San Antonio, Texas, I confer upon you the highest school diploma with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining to on this day, the 29th May of 2022. Congratulations. Give them a hand one more time, ladies and gentlemen. All right, final message, final message from me. You guys, you guys keep standing there. As we close tonight's celebration, it is without question that all of you will do great things and make an impact for future generations. You're the product of a school that believes in you. I'm also counting on you to have a service mindset to make the world better and with more heart and compassion. Do the same thing that you did at Eastside, persist and graduate in four years in college and jumpstart your future. I want you to seize and experience the opportunities that's forthcoming for all of you guys. Allow the vast educational experiences that you will encounter, experience in college. College is going to be super exciting for all of you and it's gonna be different, you're gonna have choices, you're gonna have all these awesome experiences. You've already made Eastside super proud. And now, we will lift up all Eastside along with you as you matriculate into college. Go class of 2022, continue to make more history, go and continue, show others what nobody can deter the spirit of Eastside. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, families. Thank you, staff. Thank you for making this possible. Congratulations, families. Congratulations, class of 22. You are now a official graduate for IDEA Public Schools. Go forth.